Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another special bonus reading for the channel. If you are a fabulous Scorpio born on November 5th, then this special birthday message is for you. Let's go ahead and dive into the reading. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my amazing Scorpios born on November 5th, to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Okay. We got the power of number five. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. So we could see the Hierophant kick in, also picking up on the five of cups. This person may have some guilt, remorse, regret towards you, Scorpio, for the things that they didn't live up to. Power of number five again. Well, you know what the number five means. Five is a number a number of either great conflict or great change. However, Leo, the sign of Leo rules over the fifth house of the Zodiac. So it can also be about fame and fortune and success, Scorpio. Power of number four. Some of you may want to Google the angel number 554 as an additional spiritual message for this birthday reading. 554. Five, okay, so adding up the numbers brings to the power of number 14, sign of Sagittarius energy coming in, possibly with temperance card, okay? Uh, we could see the magician or any of the aces. You may be dealing with a Gemini or an Aries more specifically. And I'm also picking up on the power of number 15. You could be dealing with a Capricorn because that could represent the devil card, okay? So, Four of Wands energy I'm picking up on. The Emperor as well. You may be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. Something about a boss figure. Or you could be going into entrepreneurship or you already own your own home-based business right now. Power of number 14. 14 is temperance, so... Could be something about an ebb and flow or going with the flow or you need to get your goals organized between now and the end of Sagittarius season before Capricorn season kicks in. Because Capricorn rules over the 10th house and the 10th house of the Zodiac is about our work life and our work ethics and our money. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpios born on November 5th. What is the overall birthday general collective message, please? What does Scorpio need to know? The moon card. Okay. A lot of variable meanings with the moon. Okay. We are in the waxing moon phase right now. We're growing towards the full moon right now in the sign of Taurus. However, the moon card can also represent Cancerian and or Pisces energy. This could be about your intuition or your intuition will get heightened um, possibly on a Monday because the moon rules over the day of Monday. You may have some premonitory dreams recently, or you will be having some more prophetic dreams as the days and the weeks go by before possibly the end of the year as well. Okay. Something that maybe could shift or change your life or your perception. This can also be about secrets, things that are hidden in the dark, Somebody could also be holding back their emotions from you, Scorpio, and their thoughts. And 
And what I also heard from Spirit with the moon card, the moon is divine feminine energy. So if you are a female Scorpio, it's time to soup up that goddess-like energy within you. You may want to consider listening to a guided meditation to bring out that goddess energy in your auric force field, okay, where you start to feel like a goddess, look like a goddess, and people will notice this change about you energetically as well, okay? Trusted ancestors, how is the moon coming into play for my Scorpios born on November 5th? Wow, you're right here. You guys, something here with this full moon phase is a major transformation. You're going to start shedding old patterns, Scorpio, or maybe you are restructuring something right now or how you go about your daily routine or your activities throughout the week. So that's what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing clear out the clutter. Clear out the clutter, get rid of stuff that just no longer serves your highest purpose. If you haven't worn something in quite a while, give it away, donate it, do consignment, sell it, whatever. Preferably try to sell it first. Make some money, Scorpio. Okay, so a major change or transformation I heard spirit say not looking back to the past. Message from the sign of Scorpio. Wow. Scorpio onic energy coming in again. There could be a tower moment that could hit you up on November 16th, um, but I'm hearing it in a good way. Okay, um, however, fear warnings for arm, there could be a loss of a loved one. I have to call it out as I see it. But I feel that this is more, this is more of a breakthrough or you're going to end up having a breakthrough in your intuition. Like your premonitory dreams or revelations or the way your gut pull kicks in. It's what I'm hearing here. It's it's like going to be undeniable. Message from the tower. Something about waiting or you've been waiting for some money to come in. Or this could be about a grant, a loan. I'm feeling a lot of positive energy. But I also feel here too that somebody wants to return back from the past. They're trying to figure out how. This person that you've dealt with before in the past, they, kept, they held many secrets from you. And you were waiting. You were waiting for a breakthrough. You were waiting to see the change or the transformation. This person that you could have dealt with, for some of you guys, could have had a drug addiction. I heard gambling addiction. Children, and so something about children. Somebody's not going to have a childlike behavior anymore, possibly. But I feel that this is more about your intuition than anything. Like I said, I heard Spirit say, not looking back to the past. Let's dive a little deeper, shall we? We're going to go into the hidden truth. Hidden Truth Oracle. Message from the Seven of Pentacles. What is this waiting energy? I'm starting to understand our connection. So whoever you've been dealing with, they could be the one also having a spiritual awakening, Scorpio. Message from the tower. I left you before you could leave me. So this person that you dealt with before in the past, they had many insecurities and they felt like they couldn't level up to your quote unquote, your greatness, Scorpio. They felt like you were too good to be true. 
some of them were not ready to settle down, commit, have marriage, maybe have children. Um, this person, I hear the word ghosting or the statement ghosting. It's weird. I, I don't even feel that this has anything to do with these cards that are out in front of me. Something about sue, like being sue happy. I don't know if somebody feels like they got to sue somebody. Or it could be somebody owes you money, Scorpio. <clears throat> That's what I'm hearing outside of these cards. I heard the word forgiveness. Maybe you've forgiven this person many numerous times, Scorpio, and you're just kind of like, ah, I don't know. I don't know if I can trust you. That could be another reason for the moon energy. You might have felt like this person was too sneaky with you before in the past and you were patiently waiting. You were waiting for a breakthrough, you were waiting for a major change or transitioning within this connection. But definitely your intuition, your gifts of psychic insight are going to be strengthening. So prepare yourself. Message from the sign of Scorpio with the death card. Change and transformation. I hide behind material things. This person could have been very materialistic, obviously, dealing with them. This person didn't know how to show you emotion. That's why I said it. somebody could be holding back emotions, which means that they might have had some really rough relationships prior to you. And you walked into their life. And you, I feel you made them look at life differently or made them look at relationships differently, but in a good way. I'm also hearing somebody's person was an alcoholic because I was rereading this. I hide behind material things, but I just kept seeing drinking for whatever reason. Message from the moon. I wish things could be different. Somebody feels stuck or they feel trapped or you're wanting something to be different here, Scorpio. With somebody that you deeply care about. Let's go into the romance angels deck. Message from the Romance Angels with the Seven of Pentacles. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. If you've been in doubt whether or not this is the right person for you, Scorpio, they are your soulmate. They are your true soulmate. You can put whatever label you want on them. Soulmate, life partner, twin flame. It's just all earthly terms. Message from the tower. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So also too, new soulmate activity that can pop up out of the blue when you least expect it as well. For those of you who are single, you've left the past behind. You don't want a person from the past. And this is also a new soulmate connection. You're patiently waiting for a soulmate. Message from the moon. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. This person 
has to get that courage and strength within themselves to confront you or to see you face to face because they've been hiding. Message from the death card, sign of Scorpio. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. So some of you are going to end up having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You've also released an ex or you're waiting for somebody to release a soon-to-be ex. Okay. In order for this person to come forward. Another reason why that they might not have been able to give you that love, give you that type of attention that you were seeking Scorpio is because they were involved with somebody else. Okay. Um, and yeah, toxic karmic situations for them. However, if you're out there and you know, yes, prayer meditation, but what will also bring and attract your soulmate unto you is your level of confidence. Confidence is very seductive and it's also attractive. Okay, so when you are rising to the top, Scorpio, you're going to attract everybody. It's not just your specific person. And I've said this before many times over and over in the regular general collective readings. Right now is the time while we're in this waxing moon phase, carve some time out for yourself and start developing and designing who your soulmate is. If your predominant thoughts are only focused in on like a specific person, then I wouldn't go against the grain. If you are seeing this, you know, the person that has been on your mind the most, Scorpio, if you cannot seem to get your thoughts away, then you start manifesting and writing down, how do you want this person to show up in your life? Okay. And as you're writing out those affirmations, don't say, I want, I need X, Y, and Z from this person. Universe is not going to understand that. As I have indicated before on the channel, when you use the word now, now, A, it mentally grounds your thoughts. When you're putting the word now into your positive affirmations, okay, it puts you into the present tense. What is the present tense? The power of now. Some of you guys might have even read that book. I haven't read it in a long time, but it is a very impactful book on how to harness the energy of now and recognizing and realizing the future is right here, right now. So your predominant thoughts right now of your specific person or manifesting for a soulmate, what you think in this moment is going to project within the next few seconds, the next few minutes, the next few hours, days, weeks, and months. It's going to project where your destiny is headed by what, what are you saying to yourself? So your intuition right now is probing at you to start looking at yourself differently because you're meant to be in a partnership. If that's on your bucket list, yeah, you're meant to be in a partnership. This person that you've dealt with before, they had a lot of insecurities. I've been seeing this come up quite often with these people from the past. A lot of insecurities. Um, bad childhood or they had, you know, shitty ass uh, marriages and relationships and they just, they didn't know how to choose the right partner. They were not using at that time in their life, their best intuition and somebody here, yeah, needs to make the effort. But when it comes to manifesting, because the moon can be about manifestation, if you work with moon cycles, okay, because the waning moon is about banishing out waxing moon face is about dr like you're drawing in what it is that you desire and who it is that you want. Okay. So you yourself have to put that energy. So while you've been patiently waiting, you could be crying, sobbing, all of this. Do you honestly think that that type of energy is going to help you to manifest to get anybody into your life? Oh, hell no. No. Uh-uh. No, you have to, I'm hearing the song, I don't know who sang it from the 80s. I don't know if it's the Pointer Sisters. I've got a new attitude. I'm feeling good from my head to my shoes. Know where I'm going. 
I know what to do. I got a new attitude. So your attitude towards yourself and your romantic life, okay, for a lot of you guys, it's at the forefront. But also allow your, your career to also be an emotional cushion for you right now, okay? But you need to carve out time in your weekly schedule to sit down with a journal, whether it is to manifest this specific person or you are manifesting for an entirely different person. This is all about your intuition, where you're headed, your goals, not looking back to the past, change and transformation. I feel that somebody here is going to be coming back around the bend, Scorpio, and they're going to be looking at you very differently, and you're going to be looking very differently at them, okay? So the thoughts that you have today and in the second about your specific person, remember, it's one step forward into the quote, unquote, future of tomorrow and the days after and the weeks after, etc. This person, again, is trying to understand the connection. They're thinking about you. I feel like this person didn't know how to open up. You might have went on a few dates with this person. Maybe you were hoping to have another date and another date, start to see things growing, more consistent communication, consistent text messages, whatever the case may be. Some of you were married. You may have children together. I'm not saying you want your ex-husband or your ex-wife back. Uh, I'm hearing hell no for some of you guys. But you are ready to advance. You're ready to start living the greatest life that you ever feel that you could possibly have. Okay? So trust your gut pull, your instincts about this person, and trust that you are going to have a really great romantic life. And it starts with you. It starts with your attitude and how you feel about yourself. So you're going to put more time and energy and effort into you. Okay? It's not about becoming cocky. It's just about being very certain with the universe that you're not going to waver and not pay attention to 3D circumstances and I find that the most powerful way to manifest is to write the affirmation down and speak it out as you write it out, okay? You've got love that wants to come in. Spirit doesn't want you to get downhearted. They're saying again, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking. That's the reason why I always recommend to listen to a guided meditation during the middle of the night. What will a guided meditation do or how will it make you feel when you get up in the morning? Your energy is going to feel more lighthearted. Like you're going to feel some of the emotional burden off of you. You're not going to feel tired. You're not going to feel like sludge. And after you get into the groove, whether you're listening to a guided meditation for self-concept, if it's a money affirmation uh, guided meditation, if it's bringing in an apology from somebody or having this person make you their number one priority, the first 21 days are very critical. After that, 30-day cycle, 60-day, and 90-day. Keep a journal of when you listen to these guided meditations. Check it off the list, okay? And do a reward system for yourself, okay? Um, I know sometimes it could seem daunting to listen to the same meditation over and over and over again, but that's the... That's the reason why it's so much better to listen to it at night. But make a chart. Make a special chart. And every night for the first 21 days, write your dates out and check it off in the morning that you listen to it overnight. And after 7 or 14 days, reward yourself. you got to reward yourself 
for a lot of things, Scorpio. You don't have to overindulge, go get some ice cream, whatever, take yourself out to dinner because you're being proactive. You're shifting your mentality. Whatever it is that you are trying to get, there is a person here that is trying to come back, but they've been struggling with opening up to you. Now, you could feel also too shut down towards this person because of their actions, okay? I don't always feel that we... Uh, that everybody is you pushed out. I don't always believe that um, because there are certain circumstances that just don't jive with me. Okay. Um, and I'm not going to go into detail about that. However, whenever you are striving for something, reward yourself. Okay. Because I think people get, um, discouraged. Well, there wouldn't be any discouragement about having your specific person come forward if you remain consistent behind the scenes with your guided meditations. Okay. So, and that will also help strengthen. They even, you guys, I listened to guided meditations to become superhuman, to unlock all of the gifts and talents that I have going on in my brain that I am not consciously aware of. Little by little, I'm somewhat retaining information a little bit better, stronger. Um, I'm hoping that it will also uh, help me um, when my mind gets scattered. You know what I'm saying? So being more uh, focused, okay? Because when you have a superhuman mind, okay, you not only retain information, but you are exceptionally focused. And for me, because I have a lot of irons in the fire, that's another reason why I'm listening to a guided meditation such as that, okay? And it's to help me unlock hidden talents that I didn't think I had. You know what I mean? So I'm still in a self-discovery mode. But um, yeah, somebody here is going to be making an effort. They could be making an effort during this waxing moon phase. I am picking up Gemini. I'm picking up on the full moon in Gemini, which will be, mm, I want to say that is in the first part of December. Yeah, first part of December because it happens in Sagittarius season. Because I'm picking up this little boy and girl. I kept hearing twins. I don't know if somebody's pregnant with twins, but I heard twins. So automatically I'm thinking Gemini energy or you're dealing with a Gemini. Okay. For some of you. Do not be discouraged, Scorpio. Your love life is going to change and turn around for the better. I got two cards that are showing me major transformation. Your attitude and how you think about yourself and this person or how you think about your love life, the thoughts that you say to yourself right now, the words that you say to yourself right now, that's what I want to say. It will set the tone for tomorrow. Be very conscientious. Okay. Scorpio. <clears throat> If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. So to all of my amazing Scorpios born on November 5th, happy birthday to you. And until next time, take care.